Notion has been used heavily to share public pages, whether it be to share a website or documentation similar to how Google Docs or spreadsheets are used and shared easily on the web. And so far, you could not customize much of how the page would look on the web. Now, with the launch of Notion sites, you can add your custom domain on paid plans and you can customize more the header, the navigation of the site, the favicon, and also remove Notion branding if you use a custom domain. So I'm recording this video to explain what Notion site is how to use it, what changes have been introduced in Notion when it comes to the publishing experience and what are the essential things to know when it comes to the pricing plans for Notion sites and what features are available on each specific pricing plan. The first thing to know about Notion sites is the changes in the pricing plans and what's included regarding Notion sites on each pricing plan. Here is the pricing page and these are all the plans, free, plus, business and enterprise. And these are the features of Notion sites that are included, limited or not included on each plan. So the first feature is unlimited published pages and this is available across all plans so just like it was before you can publish any notion page to the web you can have one notion.site domain on the free plan and up to five on the paid plans so from plus to enterprise you can have up to five notion.site domains that is notion.site slash something for example slash sim or whatever your custom domain not all domains are available so i will show you how to get them later in this video next up is search engine indexing so you can index the published pages on the web or you can exclude them from search engine indexing and on the free plan you have basic functionalities that is essentially what you already had before the launch of notion sites when it comes to publishing notion pages so you can unindex or index a page whereas on the plus business and enterprise plan there are more advanced features and what that means is that you can customize more or have more control over the title and meta tag on the search engine settings that's what it means for now there are some site customizations that you can implement only on the paid plans so these are the key new features ready here when it comes to Notion sites. On the plus business and enterprise plan, you can customize the site, in particular the favicon, the header, and light or dark mode or system mode set at the site level. And on the paid plans, you can also get custom domains and branding. So if you have a custom domain, then you can also customize the site and you can also remove the Notion branding, essentially having your own Notion web page without really having any Notion branding. Although the page will still look very familiar to anyone who knows about Notion because you can't currently inject any CSS or JavaScript or HTML onto the page to change its look and style. And finally, on the paid plans as well, you have Google Analytics. So you can add a Google Analytics tag on each of your website to track the traffic on that page besides the native analytics available on any Notion page and database. And a final point about custom domains and branding, you can see here that on the paid plans that is included but still it is a an extra service so you would need to pay for each domain that you own separately and i will show you how that works later but the pricing is eight dollars per month per domain if you pay annually or ten dollars per month per custom domain if you pay monthly whereas the notion.site domains are included free included in the plan for the paid plans and for the free plan as well next up we'll go into how to actually use notion sites the first thing that we are seeing when it comes to setting up notion sites is how you can find sites how you can can add domains and also your custom domain and that is from settings and members sites and this was already present here a few months ago this feature was shipped where you could see all the published sites in one single place here across your entire workspace and that's very useful because then you can click on the three dots go to the settings directly from here view the site copy the link see the person who published it so it gave especially teams so workspaces involving multiple people a bit more control over publishing pages because sometimes you have sensitive information in notion and you do not want to share it publicly and leak information to the public. And now with the launch of Notion sites, there is a new section at the very top of this setting here that is called domains. And that's where you can see all your Notion.site domains and custom domains as well. If you are on a paid plan, you can see here, you can have up to five Notion.site domains. And here I have my five domains for each domain. You can set the homepage if you like, that is not necessary. As you can see here, I do not have any homepage for that domain. And the homepage means the page where people land where they type, for example, here, simonesmerilli.notion.site, they would land on this page. If there is no homepage, then where they type that domain, they will not land on any page. To add a new domain, we can click on the new domain option here, and then we can decide if it is a Notion domain, so one of the five available domains on the paid plans and one available domain on the free plan, or if it is a custom domain, that is a domain we own. If it is a custom domain, I can do continue here. I can add either a root domain or a subdomain, so it could also be something like Notion 
www.simosmay.com for me as an example that is a subdomain of a domain that I own and then if I do continue here there are the DNS settings so you would go into your DNS register for me for example it is domain.com for this domain and then I would add the DNS settings here so a C name with this value and a text record with the name and value right here then I would verify it sometimes it takes a few minutes or a few hours depending on the process and on the domain register and then your custom domain would be connected and you can then define the custom domain when you publish a notion page to the web in this example i'm gonna delete this for now and maybe edit later on for now i have these domains here so that's how you can manage domains from the three dots menu you can also update a domain or you can delete it if it is not the primary one like this that is my primary one now here is a public page that i have you can see there is this stripe at the top that was launched a few months ago as well that is a visual indicator that this page is public and in here if i go to the share menu i can see it is public and i can see the domain that i can select from the drop down menu the url slug that is not editable there is a site customization option search engine indexing and the link expiration so let's start from site customization here when i do this i can see the share preview here but i can also upload a specific image that changes the preview and this is the preview on social medias i can also select the theme so if i do system then it will pick up the dark mode or light mode from the user's computer settings and adapt the theme of that public page accordingly i can also upload a favicon here for example this one i can customize the header where i can hide or show the breadcrumbs as you can see here in this case i want to hide them i can hide or show the search bar allow to duplicate as template or not this is this icon there and remove the notion watermark only if i use a custom domain that i own in addition we can also add navigations so if there are some pages within this page that is published to the web that's what i can add on the navigation menu so here for example we do not have any sub pages and that is why i can't see any once the header is done i can also set google analytics that is the measurement id that I, you can get from google analytics and add it here if you want to track conversion events and traffic on the specific page then i can publish changes here to make it official and then i can go to search engine indexing here where i can make it discoverable on the web or not if i toggle this on then i can change the link title and the description and see a preview of what that looks like right here and you can see that these are picked up automatically from the title on the page and from the first block on that page if i do no that is okay and then link expiration that is when you want this link to be unshared automatically from the web as an ocean site and that's pretty much it so if I were to copy this link and let's open it in incognito to see what it looks like. Yeah. You can see there's the site, the title and the breadcrumb at the top are hidden. There is the search menu here, comment option that you can see it's not available. So that looks like an unexpected icon that shows up there. And um, we can actually manage comment and editing access from the web from the share menu. So this has moved and you can see here anyone with published link can comment, can view, remove or can edit. So because can comment is turned on, I can see the comment icon here. Whereas if I do can view and now go back to incognito i will refresh the page i can see the favicon as well at first it is the notions favicon but then i can see mine here here the comment icon is still there so it is not clear why and then there is the three dots to sign up for notion if you have a custom domain that you own then you can remove this branding here and make it just a public page on your custom domain and you can see here that is just a notion page published to the web just like before it is just a bit more customized in terms of the header favicon and the domain and that concludes the overview of notion sites and all the essential features that you need to know and where to find notion sites and how to manage them. This feature can be particularly useful if you want to use your own branding, for example, on public Notion pages without having the Notion logo and sign up options at the top of it. Of course, that comes with a monthly cost that is owning the custom domain and adding it to Notion. So there is the trade-off there. And for now, you can't customize the style of any page or inject code in it. For that, there are website editors that connect natively with Notion that facilitate that process a lot. I will leave any relevant resources in the description of the video. If you have comments, leave them down below so that you can interact on this feature and how you plan to use it. For now, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.